I'm just kidding. It's all right there. I was so excited. I could not wait to open it up. It's like a birthday present, like a Christmas present. Welcome to Firebird Fridays. Welcome to Turning and Burning. Number one channel, all things blue collar. Don't forget to subscribe. As you can see, I told y'all last Friday on Firebird Friday, that is a mouthful that has something right there in that box. And I opened it up and it is a car rotisserie. She is about to get rolled over so I can rub her belly. That's right. I'm going to put this car rotisserie together. And uh, when I get back, I'm going to show you the whole thing put together. Tell you how easy it was or how hard it was. And I want to let you know where I got it from and all that fun stuff. So stay tuned as I get this rotisserie put back together and get that car Flipped over so we can start working, baby. Woo! On Firebird Fridays. Voila. That literally only took me, uh, I'd say, about an hour, if that. Easy, easy, easy to put together. Um, I'm going to put the website right here. To Well, I'm sorry, not the website, but the email. He's working on a new uh, website as we speak. It was from Greg's Truck and Trailer Equipment. That's where I purchased this from. Um, he said go ahead and email him. He was super cool. I actually found this on eBay. And uh, he put on there that if I wanted to know the shipping and everything, to uh, give him a call or text. So I sent him a text and I started talking to him, talked to him in person, and was able to make the deal. He gave me a lot better of a deal on the shipping than eBay would have. So uh, sorry eBay. Uh, Guess that sponsorship went down the drain. But real quick, it was super easy. Um, as you can see, we flip through the instructions, kind of show you this piece by piece. Everything was packaged very nicely, but um, this is what she looks like. You know, as I said, I was gonna build one myself, and I decided uh, I didn't really have the time. I think for what I paid for this, by the time I bought the steel. Um, I probably wasn't going to uh, put these jacks on there, so I'm not really sure what I would have ended up with. And this is something I'm using and I feel safe with it. And I'm not saying what I was going to build wouldn't be safe. I feel safe with this because I can go and sell it to somebody. But let me show you a little bit uh, about this. The cool thing was is right here when you put the casters on, these were threaded, so you didn't have to try to hold the nut on the back side. Um, everything has these kind of only bummer thing is these are um, they really put a uh, hex so it'll be an Allen it'll go in there but that's okay but what's cool is you have the jack right here so you can crank this up pin it right here and these for safety and then uh, obviously you can purchase um, the kits that will bolt onto this for your vehicles uh, I don't know if it's for all of them but uh, I'm going to have to fabricate something to fit on mine. I uh, come come around here, and you can see once you get it, you're gonna you know raise it up. You may need a little bit more adjustment, and then you have this right here. Uh, I wish there was a little knob right here, but that's okay. That'll go up and down. The cool thing is, is right here. I don't know if you can see real well, but there's bearings in there, right in there. So when this is spinning, you're not just sitting there rubbing, taking the paint off. So very easy to put together super easy to put together um, I'm not quite ready yet to put it on the car flip the car I need to do a little bit more work back here to make sure I beef this up those little brackets need to go on there but uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this and put it over there and see what it's gonna look like and uh, let's go over there and check it out see what it looks like on the car So I kind of got them mocked up the back and the front over here. I kind of show you. Not done yet because I need to do a little bit more uh, beefing up back here. I'm going to have to make a bracket for this area. We'll leave that for another video. But I just want to kind of show you once again how these are going to work. Um, looks like 
This one right here, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna go actually into these bolts right here where the bumper's gonna sit. That's where I'm saying I'm not done yet. I still have to put the pieces that go right in here. Um, getting all that ready so I can weld those in place. So that's where that's gonna sit. So it looks like, just kind of looking at it, I have to go a little bit wider. Probably gonna make a bracket. Um, maybe I'll have some angle iron or something. Bolt up, up, bolt it up in here, come across here. But I'll show you all that in the next video for sure. For sure. Let's head over to the front and uh, look at that. In the front end, what is actually, this is gonna work out perfect. Cause right here, you can see that right here. That's where you bolt that front end clip up. I can bolt it to that. Right now, I'm gonna have to pick the car up just a little bit higher to get that underneath there. But that's gonna be a piece of cake. Lift it up, scoot these out a little bit, bolt that right up. Wish the uh, rear end was a little bit easier. Maybe I'll come up with something a little bit easier, but I'll show y'all. But uh, for real, guys, uh, wanted to build one of these, but decided for the price, I went ahead and bought one. I'm really pleased with this. Uh, Kind of looking around and show you all this. You know, you got locking wheels right here. You know, you can lock the brakes for the wheels. Um, everything is very nice. Uh, I didn't get paid for this. It's not a sponsorship or anything like that. It's uh, just uh, buy something good and uh, somebody's cool about it. I will rep their product. So everything will be down in the description. Uh, I'm gonna get back to work. I need to get this ready because uh, I want to get it on the turner, the rotisserie, the flipper, whatever you want to call it. But I really do uh, need to get back to work. I just wanted to show you all that. Uh, but I got that, I decided. New toy. Um, down in the comments, if you may be interested in purchasing it later on, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna try to trade it, maybe to uh, a Peyton body guy. I don't know if he has one. But if you're interested maybe in purchasing it, just leave, uh, leave a remark, a comment down there, and let me know. But thanks a lot for joining me on another Firebird Friday. And like always, subscribe to Turning and Burning. I'm trying to bring you as much action, much blue collar action as we can every Monday. You can see what we do out in the field, making the money so we can have the hobbies that we do. I know it doesn't make any sense. We work to have hobbies to work on stuff, but you know what, that's just what we do. That's why we're blue collar. <laughs> Anyways. Have a great one. See you again next Friday, Fiber Friday. Howdy, fi howdy. All right. We washed. Bye. Check. Once we get this sucker flipped over to the underside, we can finish that off and move on. Start getting some priming undercoat on there. Can't wait. She's coming along just fine.